I, I want to say like this last run loud when I went with Mike. That shit was crazy because it was like, like I don't know, it'd be like an in particular person. And they're just like way more excited than everybody else. It's like, damn, nah, you was waiting for this shit. Like, okay, but I gotta turn up for you, but. I would describe myself as an artist who's very personal and real with their music. It's just very straight up me. Like when you hear a song, it's just like, yeah, this is Kenji. <laughs> South Carolina. I was born in Virginia though. Yeah, but Somerville, South Carolina, I grew up over there a little bit. Get fucked up. That's how I prepare. I get drunk as fuck. I have fun all day. I might go shopping. You know what I'm saying? I just vibe out and then I go to the show, turn up for my fans. I, I wanna say like this last run loud when I went with Mike, that shit was crazy because it was like, that was the most people I ever seen like moving to my music at one time. Like, them niggas be getting lit. I love when I go to a show and I see like, uh, like I don't know, be like an in particular person and they're just like way more excited than everybody else. It's like, damn, nah, you was waiting for this shit. Like, okay, but I gotta turn up for you. But like, I just love shit like that, it's fire. Uh, so when I first started music, like this shit, how, how I feel about music, it's like a very therapeutic thing now, but like, it wasn't like that when I first started. It was like on some board shit. Like my homie told me to make music like the year before that. And I was just like, nigga, nah, like, I feel like, man, I love music, but like, what? But then I really just did that shit one day on some board shit, like in the room. And I was just like, you know, when you at your, in your room back in the day, you bored and you like, just doing random shit, like you breaking something or like you trying to build something. Or like, that's what I was, I was on that type of vibe, but I was like, I'm gonna make a song. And then I did, I did that shit. And then it was weak, but I was like, nah, okay. And I was just, I really kept doing that shit, which is crazy, but. <laughs> it's my personal feelings and like, my personal experience and shit I go through, some shit I feel like I need to get out. Like I said, I be writing my thoughts down and shit, but like songs is like another way of me writing my thoughts down, like you feel me, basically. So like, how I think of it is like a release of energy, like you feel me? But like the more personal, like deeper songs is like a, the more therapeutic shit. And it's like not just therapeutic for me, but for other people too, like when I put it out. I could rap about anything. I could rap about shit all day, fuck it. But like when I'm really rapping about some, some shit I'm feeling, like some shit that's coming from like my inside of me and shit, I'm just feeling like, uh, I don't know, I'd be dumping that shit. Like I make a crazy ass song. Like I don't know, <laughs> that shit too smooth for me. Probably this one I just put out and be real. Not on no like promotion shit, but like, <laughs> nah, this one because like, nah, these songs are like, it's like some growth and develop shit. Like, you feel me? Like, listening to my, like, my old projects, like my very first one, T Tears and Pistols, and then listening to this one, it's like, damn, like I was making some fire songs, but like, now it's like a clear direction of some shit I'm making when I, when I go in the studio and make a song, I'm like, damn, all right, I, I know how I want this shit to go right now when I hear a beat. You feel me? Before it was just really, I was playing around with shit. I might get some beats lined up, or I might get somebody to pull up and play me some beats. And I'ma just go through some shit I like, you know what I'm saying? Get in the booth, we freestyle ideas and shit, so. I feel like, especially now, or from January now, when my music has really been getting a little, I've been taking more time and like trying to develop it and shit, like you feel me? Cause like I had like a little, a little period where I wasn't really recording as much and shit, and I was just kind of like, just chilling and like living and experiencing stuff and observing other music. Like, I don't know, recently I've been going to like record shops and like buying random records and then like just playing it, and just seeing what I hear. Cause like, you'll never fucking know. It'd be some crazy sound and shit. Like you just going off of like what it looks like or what, that's what I be doing. But like, I want to start doing that to like try to like incorporate some new sound and shit. Nah, I don't, I can't really write the songs down. I want to try cause like, I write down my thoughts. But I don't write down songs. <laughs> like, I, I write down my thoughts. I write down a book of that shit. But, like, songs, nah, I just gotta, like, hear the beat and just put it together as it goes. Like, you feel me? So, really just, I don't know, niggas just be around. Shit, for real, we just fuck with each other. I guess Mike, my homie. And, like, for a minute, we didn't even have no songs for real. We was just homies. That's how it is for a lot of my rapper friends. We just be kicking it. We didn't got no songs for real. Just fuck with each other. But now we fuck around, make a song, and it's like, I don't know, fuck, we might as well, especially if the fans like be like, oh damn, well y'all know each other, we might, man, we might as well make a song and shit. Amsterdam, bro, what? I don't got my, I don't got my passport on. I don't know, I kind of found like a new inspiration and shit, like, like traveling and stuff, you know? Like I went to Atlanta 
And I was just like, I don't know, it was just a little vibe, just a little weak trip, but it was just like fire. I was like, damn, nah. And I was just like, I was in the studio dumping songs. So I was like, I don't know, I'm put on a traveling vibe, like, you feel me? And I like Joey because he just be, he be chilling, living life, doing him. Like, he don't really get too much of a fuck about what people be thinking and shit. Uh, probably this one. <laughs> I actually, this one right here. It's Invader Zoom. I just think it looks really cool, and I love Invader Zoom. I'm trying to, I'm trying to fill it up. Like I just got this one the other day, and this one in my hand. I'll literally think of some shit, and then like get it the next day or the same night. I don't really do much. I'm, I'm gonna stay inside. I'm gonna go to the studio. Like you feel me? I'm just, I'm not very much of an outside person. I play well. I play. I started playing paintball in like 10th grade, and I started. I, I be doing that now again. I, I fell off of it a little bit when I came to LA, but I just started doing it again. That's like the most athletic shit I be doing. I like the only athletic shit I be doing. But like, I don't really like. I don't watch sports. I don't really enjoy it. Like, I be getting bored. Uh, not crazy. I don't think. I don't know. They're not crazy. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Like, I feel like anything from them is just like. I see it as like they had good intentions, even if it is some shit like, okay, hold on. Because if, if somebody's doing some shit that's like a little out of pocket, I'm a real nigga, I'm gonna be like, yo, like, you feel me, calm down. Like, chill for a second. Like, especially in a situation like, I was at a show one time, and I had my mom out there and shit. Like, my mom out there, I don't give a fuck who outside, I'm not gonna lie, you gotta back the fuck up. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about me. <laughs> like, just shit like that, like, you feel me, like, like, people could swarm and shit, but, like, you just gotta read the situation. Like, it's usually, people are usually good about that, so, like, it is what it is. Where I can go overseas and do arenas, not just, like, like, damn, I got a show in Jamaica tonight. If I gotta go to New York tomorrow, like, that's fire. My message to everybody is always be yourself. Take situations for what they are. Understand that moments pass by and shit, and then be the best person you can be.